Hello again, Shellheads. This is a follow-up to my Mark 48 uh, in intro video. The first part we're going to talk about is the first part that I finished. Well, sort of finished. Uh, that would be the chest. Now, right off the bat, what I used to make it. Um, I've been getting my foam now with the start of this project from TNT Cosplay Supply. Uh, they have sheets of it. Um, you can't see what I'm looking at or pointing at, but it's uh, two foot by five foot uh, sheets of foam. So uh, I picked those out because that enabled me to do at least the front of the chest here as one solid piece. So there's no seam in the center. Uh, there's seams up here along the, the sternum piece but those will be filled in and cleaned up nice. Uh, you can see a little bit of glue residue, but um, it's not lumpy, it's kind of smooth, so that shouldn't be a big problem. But um, again, this, fo this foam, um, super great. Uh, I really like the thickness. Um, this is the six mil and the fact that I can get big pieces out of it with no seams. So. Uh, that covers that and again, I'll uh, throw a link in the description for TNT supply or cosplay supply um, They're really great. Uh, I got this really fast from them even with all the I ordered like Right in the middle of all their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales and stuff and I still was able to get it but That covers that um, now originally with the start of this I had done a drawing based on the concept art uh, or the uh, uh, filming on location the BTS uh, photos uh, of the chest and shoulders and stuff uh, I based this drawing off of those images and I was going to base my um, templates off of this I was gonna hand make some templates off of this but I went and ordered or bought the um, Pepecura templates from Maxcraft again for this. He's got some alphas out there, which uh, have turned out to be pretty great because um, they are nearly identical in dimension and, and size and everything uh, to my drawing. And like uh, just total coincidence, um, and I could prove that by giving you a little taste. Um, the chest is actually magnetic again. Uh, again, this is so. This is I, something I learned from my Mark Forty One building that suit to make the chest piece uh, a magnetic piece that snaps on the front, so it's easier for me to access the batteries for the arc reactor. This way, I can. You know, if it goes dead halfway through the, sh the con or whatever, I can take it off, change the batteries, and throw it right back on. Just like that. But anyway, what I wanted to show is uh, totally uh, just by chance, my chest that I hand drew is within millimeters in the same uh, drawings. Or pieces so um, once I figured that out after printing out his pattern and like holding it up to this and, and figuring that out I'm, I kind of just said well I'll just use his pattern so um, it's damn close to what I st was starting to do myself anyway so why not um, so that's that but um, uh, I have some refinements to make to this. I, I haven't hit anything with the heat gun yet or uh, glued any of the seams really. Um, they they kind of still open. Uh, these edges, um, these kind of like piece lines that are on the shoulders and stuff, those I have drawn on there, but um, when I go to finish this, what I'll do is I will actually be cutting those in with a razor blade um, or my exacto knife and then hitting it with the heat gun and when I do that that'll actually open up the foam and make those lines a little bit wider 
uh, I think I think that method is going to work really well for these parts just because if I were to do it with like a Dremel tool um, I personally don't have uh, that good of a control with my Dremel uh, mine isn't a variable speed it's a one speed and it's you know, off the wall, ludicrous speed. So um, it's a little bit difficult to control as opposed to a variable speed little handheld one. So uh, I'm just gonna do that with uh, a razor blade and my heat, heat gun. I think that'll, that'll do those lines really nice and you'll be able to see them in photos and stuff. And then I have some minor details to add and clean up around the sides, but um, as of right now, this is pretty much uh, wearable. Like, it, I don't have any strapping or anything on it, but once I finish the back and uh, shoulders and things, um, I will actually be able to start figuring out how I'm gonna add straps um, and whether or not I might use magnets on the sides. Um, I might be more or less done with Velcro, we'll see. Um, I, I want to try and do as many magnets as possible just because I think they're a little bit cleaner as far as the edge work goes. Um, the Velcro seems to like move around a little bit, it doesn't quite catch right, stretches a little bit. So um, I kind of want to try and work with the magnets as much as possible. Plus I have a lot of them, so because um, it's cheaper to buy in bulk. But um, I think that pretty much covers this portion of it. Um, like I said, I'm going to work on the back next, so that should be the next video. But I hope you um, found something in informative here or got a kick out of the fact that I can take the chest off um, again. And it holds its shape pretty well. So um, this one should... Uh, Work pretty cool. Uh, can't wait to see this get finished because I'll be able to wear it. <laughs> but um, hope you stick with watching project. Uh, I'm gonna do some funny things as I go around um, with this suit. It's gonna be quite different from the suits that I've made in the past, I think. Um, but we'll see, uh, especially the helmet that, uh, well, We'll get into that. Okay, later.